Yo, what's good to YouTube? It's your boy Keto back with another After Effects tutorial for you guys. Today we're gonna be doing the pin and punch transition, or AKA it's also called the warp transition. And uh, yeah, let's get straight to it, man. First thing you wanna do is obviously go ahead and get your clips and stuff that you wanna transition into. Um, I got Hunter X Hunter, so this is what we'll be using today. I got four clips, you know, however many clips that you want to transition into with this, just go ahead and get that ready. Um, after you got your clips and stuff together, we want to go up here to layer and then go to new and then go to adjustment layer. Once you've done that, it's going to spawn at the top. Just click the adjustment layer and then just drag it down to the first clip and then go to where you want to transition it, like towards the end of that clip. Hit control shift D to cut the clip. If you don't know how to do that, just go up here to edit and then go to split layer and it should split the layer right here and then delete the extra hell that we have so delete that and then use a time indicator aka this little cursor this little blue thing right here and then just drag it back three one two three and then just cut the clip again or the adjustment layer and delete the extra half and then once you're doing that go up here to the fx and control panel Type in warp and then the warp effect is right here. And it's just dragging onto the clip or the adjustment. I keep saying clip, adjustment layer. <laughs> After you've done that, we're gonna be messing with the warp style today. So click on fish eye, cause that's the um, pin and punch um, one. And then set the bend to zero. After you've done that, click uh, this little stopwatch right here to make a keyframe and then click you on your keyboard okay after you've done that just go forward two frames one two and then put negative 100 for the value after you've done that just highlight both keyframes right click keyframe assistant and then easy ease we about to do the graph editor so click on the graph editor after you've done that and then, so this is this is what the graph should look like. You're gonna drag the, the top leg across, right? Just gonna drag it across. And then you're gonna drag the bottom one across. Once you're done with that, come over here, activate the motion blur. So it can have a blur when it um, transitions into, make it look more cleaner. You see how like, it, it just added blur to it. Now, if it's not working, make sure it, um, you got to enable up here too. Make sure this this is supposed to be blue. This is how you know it's activated. So this could be activated as well. You should get something like this. That's what it should look like. To make things quick, if you don't feel like, you know, just redoing the whole process with the, um, the next three or two, or however many times that you want to do it. Honestly, I just control D whoops my bad make sure you make sure you click back because it was um you see how it's like highlighted on this control panel right here you got to make sure you click back on a clip so you can uh duplicate it i usually hit control d go right here um so go to edit and then go to control d or duplicate and this how you duplicate um your layer the long way and then just drag it up and then just drag it across to where you wanted to do it again and yeah just Keep doing that for all the ones that you want to uh, transition into with that. And you should get something like this. To add more of an effect to it, we're just going to add some scales. Now, you can click out the video if you want, but I, I'm just going to add some extra stuff. You know what I'm saying? So click S on your keyboard. It's going to bring up scale and then click the stopwatch to make a keyframe go to like towards the end of the clip and then go back one and then click make another keyframe with, with this diamond icon and then highlight uh, both keyframes right click and then uh easy ease and then just gonna go to the graph editor again whoops my bad don't go to where i have further um click on the key first keyframe um put it to like maybe like 200 something like that 
and then just go to the graph editor now. Now we'll go to the graph editor and then just bring the top leg down, put it across, pull the bottom one across and make sure you activate the motion blur. So like it can uh, blur when it scales. And then we just do the same thing for this one. Well, for all of them, for, just for the tutorial. You know, this is just to give you guys some concepts on like, you know, how to actually use the uh, effect, you know, give it that look, you know, it's all about um, the visuals, like how making it seem like it's more than what it is. So just do the same thing, just literally repeat the process on uh, the next clip. Easy, down, up. Also, guys, um, another tip, like, like your stuff probably doing this right here. If it's doing that and you just trying to like have it straight across, make sure you hold, make sure you hold and shift when you um dragging this across. So like it won't go up and down when you um trying to just make a straight line with the leg. Okay, because <laughs> I know that uh it does that for me. Well, like I didn't know. So just hold shift and then just drag it across and it won't have that problem. And then yeah, motion blur. Basically, uh, just I'm just do this for all of them. Make sure I activate that. Um, uh, keyframe. It's ease. Oh, I gotta put this at 200. Yeah, literally same process throughout the, uh, you know, for the sake of tutorial, for the whole edit, for this whole little um, edit. And then, and right here, we'll send me to that. Okay, the creek, keyframe, 200. Let's see. Pull the cross. Let me slow down more. All right. So once you're done with that, you should get something like this. It should look like this. Kind of like a warp pin and punch warp transition. You no, know, some basic. You know, I'm just let y'all um, play around with it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is basically it for today's tutorial, man. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more tutorials and stuff like this. Uh, leave a comment down below with tutorials and stuff that you want to see from your boy and uh, Yeah, one last thing. Um, I do make music So if you interested in you know, give my music a try link is in the description as well I also do commissions and stuff for people. So if you need something edited whether it be banners uh, intro for your gaming YouTube channel or you want me to edit your music video, you know, just all the bowl. Or you want me to edit your um your pictures from your photo shoot, because I do take photo shoots and stuff too. So um, you can check those pictures out on Instagram. But with all that being said, y'all, I'm gonna catch you guys later. I appreciate y'all stopping by, and you know, I really hope this helps. Um, let me know if it did down below in the comment section. But all that being said, your boy out, gang, bro, shit. Hey.